Welcome back to the business law subject. Dear students, let us learn in this video, the finder of lost goods. So it is very interesting. Finder of lost goods is that person who finds the goods belonging to others, right? So what is the position of this finder of lost goods in law? Whether can he use the goods which are found by him, you know? So in this picture, what is shown here is a purse lying on the road. So it is picked by some other person who is not the true owner, right? So the question arises here, can he use the things which are there in this purse when he finds this purse which is belonging to others, right? So the question arises here, is this the main thing? When we find a mobile on the on the road or in the garden. So if we pick it up, this mobile is not us. If it belongs to others, so what kind of right we have to use it, whether can we use it or not? So what we will have to do? So these are all the things which are covered in this video, right? So what are the duties? What are the rights of a finder of lost goods? And so we will discuss in discuss the it in this video okay so now the question is who is called as a finder of lost goods he is a person who finds goods belonging to another right so when he finds goods belonging to another and takes those things into his custody or his possession at that time we call that person as a finder of lost goods what section says section 71 says that it defines that a person who finds goods belonging to another and takes them into his custody is subject to the same responsibility as a bailee. Then the question comes here is, who is called as a bailee, right? So bailee is that person who collects or to whom the goods are delivered for some purpose. So after the purpose is accomplished, the goods are to be written back by the bailee to the bailer. So the one who receives the goods under the bailment contract is termed as bailee. So what rights, what responsibilities are there, the same responsibilities are also levied on a person who is called as a finder of lost goods, right? So let us look at the rights of a finder. What kind of right is given to a finder of lost goods. So he has a right, first right, that is right of lien. Okay, L-I-E-N, right of lien. What is this? This is right to retain, right to retain the property belonging to others. Hmm? Right to retain the property belonging to others which belongs to others, right? So he has a right to retain it. Retain in the sense, he refuses to return it back to the true owner, why? What kind of right it is when it is not of the good is not of his own. He cannot, he should not retain that goods. But here the law gives him a privilege of return, retaining that product or good which is found by him and which is not of his own, right? Why he retains is he has a right to retain this property or right to retain that good. Why he retains it is to collect the amount which is spent by him to keep it in a safe custody may be there or extra care he has taken for that additional expenditure he has spent to look all the things so to look at this property or the product good, he has spent something. So till that amount, he collects it back by the true owner till that period, he has a right to retain this, right? So that's why right of lien is given to him. The second one is right to claim reward. If any reward is awarded by the true owner after losing the product, losing the good, right? So at that time, this finder has a right to claim a reward from him after returning the good to the true owner, right? 
And the third one is right to sell. This person finder has a right to sell. He can sell the good which he founds, which is belonging to others. He can sell under these three following circumstances. What are these three following circumstances? The first one is if the goods are fast perishing, perishable goods are there at that time, he has every right to sell these and encash it. Okay. Second one is if true owner is untraced. He has taken a lot of care in finding the true owner. Still then, he has not found the true owner of the goods at that time. If he doesn't find any true owner at that time, also he can sell the good. And the third case is if owner refuses to pay lawful expenses, because you know, to keep safely the goods which he has found, he has spent certain sum of money. So he has a right to collect it back from the true owner. When a true owner refuses to make the payment of lawful expenses which are spent by him, at that time also, this finder can sell. Finder may sell the goods, right? So under these three circumstances, he has a right to sell the good. Let us come into this next part, that is duties of a finder of lost goods. When rights are assigned, rights are given, privileges are given to a finder of lost goods, obviously he has got his duties also, right? So what are those duties? Let us discuss. Duties of a finder of lost goods. The first duty itself, when he gets, when he finds the good belonging to others at that time, obviously he has to put the efforts to trace the true owner, right? Trace the true owner. He has to put his efforts. He has to put his efforts, required amount of efforts to find a true owner. Second one, duty to take reasonable care of the goods found. So whatever a layman takes care of his own products in the same sense, this finder also should have to take care of the goods which are not belonging to a finder, but to a true owner. But he should have to keep it very safely, right? So third one is duty not to mix the goods with his own, right? So duty not to mix his goods with his own goods, right? So his goods as well as the goods which are found by him should not be mixed together or should not be kept together. It becomes very difficult to segregate the thing or identify the which are found by him. That's why should not be mixed with. So the fourth one is duty not to use the goods. You know, he has no right to use the goods. He has to keep as it is intact, untouched, till the true owner is traced by him, till that period, he has to keep it as it is, right? That's why he should not use the goods which are belonging to others. Duty not to use the goods. And the last duty is duty to return goods once he finds the true owner. After finding the, after tracing who is a true owner of the goods at that time, it is the duty of a finder to return back the goods which he found, right? So these are all the duties which are imposed by the law under the Indian Contract Act 1872. So if you have any kind of queries related to the find of lost goods, feel free to comment it in the comment box. Thank you very much. So here I will conclude my recording and in the next video, I will be presenting the pledge. Thank you very much.